Okay, hi, this is uh, Dr. Tiren Zhou. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, how we adults learn to play ping pong, table tennis. Uh, first of all, introduce myself. I uh, started learning table tennis about five years ago and uh, start to play table tennis very, very ser seriously uh, with my uh, both table tennis coach, uh, Xin Huang, and also our student, uh, Kevin, Kevin Zhang. And uh, so I play a lot of table tennis, and uh, I started to coach uh, my colleagues and my friend to play table tennis as well. Most of my students or my friends are software engineers. So my uh, when we do the, we're going to do three videos today, and they all focus on mainly how adults learn to play table tennis. As you know, uh, as a young kid like Kevin, they learn table tennis in a way without thinking too much of why our body movement is this way, that way, why you want to do a strike offense, or why you want to do defense. But we adults, are very subjective. We have a determined mind. We want to play well, and we want to play well by killing, or we want to play well by doing a lot of slides. As a result, our learning process, and improvement process is different. So, first of all, how do we learn and improve? And I think the most important thing is you need to realize table tennis involves all your body parts, your feet, your, your back, your leg, your arm, your shoulder, and the wrist. And to compare tennis, uh, tennis is a little bit different. Tennis and uh, table tennis, they conflict with each other, and they also support. Uh, tennis move is all about you watch the ball closely when you hit. Make sure when you have the contact with the ball, your, your, your eyes are focusing on the ball, designing your move. So when you hit the ball, the, make sure the ball is hit at the center. And in order to generate the spin, you must use your body, your arm, and you must have a frame very free so that you can freely move your arm. And table tennis is a little bit different. Table tennis, the most important thing after is the wrist. You must use the wrist to generate the spin, to generate the power, as well as to create the control so you can do good defense. So now, we're gonna start with the basic. First of all, we're gonna start with the forehand serving. When you serve, you have to realize the, the better serve is about when you serve, without using too much power, but yet it's still, still controlled. So when you control it, it means the racket move is within, and do your best, the racket move is always the same move. Regardless, you're doing under spin, side spin, top spin, or no spin. So we're gonna do a few back spin. So you're gonna create a back spin, you're hoping your opponent will hit the ball to the net, or hit the ball without much control, so you can do a follow-up, a strike. So, that's under speed. So, so, the trick is, without moving, without moving, generating too much stress, it's very reliable. Okay, now use the same motion, now we're gonna do a side speed. We're going to do a side spin. And we're going to do a top spin. So now we're going to follow by how do you do back, back in the serve. So same thing. You want to make your body movement to be controlled by your, your feet move, your body move, and wrist move. Under spin. Under speed. 
And now we're going to generate si some size speed. We're going to generate some top speed. Size speed. Okay, so now we're going to play the basic of the offensive move. Offensive move involves the drive, the speed drive. The speed drive, loop, and counter attack, and also flick. So we're going to cover them very quickly. So we're going to cover them. First one, we're going to do the, the, the uh, we're going to do the, the drive. So when you do the drive, actually, you want to be hitting the ball without too much speed. So when you do that, the trick is when you do the, do the rapid move, make sure you generate the power from the right foot and right handed. Uh, when, you, when you hit the ball, you want to make sure. So in your mind as we adult, we want to learn it. Like we know how to control our body. That's both good news and also bad news. The good news is when you are consciously controlling yourself to do a speed drive. And you know the trick, the speed drive, is the racket. Hit the ball going forward. And then the problem is when you know your racket, you want to control the racket going forward, you tend to, you tend to hit, hit the ball without control. You, you focus too much on the racket. So a better way would be using your body and generate the power without thinking the racket move too much, but make sure the power started from the foot. Okay, now I want to do the loop. The loop compared to drive. Drive is a moving the racket almost perpendicular to the way you're the striking direction. In other words, if the ball is going the forehand side, the racket is almost perpendicular to the table. Loop is different. Loop is about generating as much as possible the time to make the ball to be almost staying with the racket rubber as much as possible. So the racket is closed. It's almost parallel to the table. And the body, the feet, the body, the move is almost the same. So how can you be reliable? The reliable comes in order to be reliable. You must design your position. You are always knowing your feet. Okay, so now let's do the other two offensive moves. Okay, so the other two is one of them is called counter attack, meaning when the opponent strike you, you strike back. So in order to strike back in a good way you need to use other people's power to generate the counter drive sometimes and sometimes to generate the counter loop. The counter loop means when the opponents loop back to you, you use the bouncing and try to timing it so that sometimes as the ball is rising, before the ball rising to the top, you already loop back. That is a, a good. That's a good counter uh, attack. Okay, so now let's focus on doing some good counter attack. Okay, so the last one we're going to do is a flick. So the flick is about generating the attack but winning the table. With the ball is still 
rising inside the edge of the table. You use the wrist, almost all the wrist move, to generate generate attack. So you can control the direction much easier because now you can you can just use there's so much little move to generate the angles. Okay, so that's all for the first video. Thank you.